All right, before y'all say anything, Omar, you always on the move. Hold on, I'm gonna say that part. What I really wanna say, I'm gonna turn the camera around. We got some chicken wings now from this Asian spot down the street. Grandpa was just telling me about. We got some uh, homemade mashed potatoes. We got some broccoli, and we got some homemade ribs. They broiled. I'm pretty sure they're not grilled. These are broiled. But let's go ahead and get to it. Omar, you always on the road, man. You always on the road. You always going, man. You never home nowadays. I can't even tell you that, that answer, bro. But something was just telling me to um, to do what I want to do. And I haven't had a chance to come see my grandparents working so much. Been busy with YouTube stuff, all that. I don't know why my face right there kind of dry. Bro, that's hair bumps, G. Bro, I'm about to be have a hair come all the way right there. Oh my God. I'm about to be a hairy nigga. But, uh, <laughs> but, haven't really had a chance to sit down. And my grandpa just told me serenity, um, meaning you go somewhere to be at just total peace and, you know, clarity of mind. So, I guess this is. One of my favorite favorite spots are Serenity. Because when I usually like, hey, I'm about to get out the house, I hit somebody up. First person I thought was, me call my grandma or grandpa. They wasn't doing nothing for the weekend. I'm over here. That simple. You know? So I'm not going to get too much detail on that. I'm about to just enjoy, give my guys a little food review, um, maybe some dessert after. I really, I don't know, because I'm really not in the mood to eat sweets. We're going to see after I eat. How I'm feeling then, then maybe I get some sweets, but let's go ahead and get it to it. I ain't gonna cut the camera again. I do I like to do my little raw videos. But I was just giving y'all a little heads up. Lighting. Lighting is garbage. Hold on. Let me go check and see this lighting in here better. Yeah, this is way better. Well, at least I think so. Yeah, lighting the hair way better. We're gonna we gonna eat it here today. Oh more you be doing a lot of raw videos. <laughs> How I feel about doing raw videos, man. I don't know, man. It's just, it just kind of happens, man. It's just like, you don't want to be one of them people that's just too edity because to you, if you want your fans to really connect with you and really feel you, and it's a video, and you always too edity your videos, how they gonna feel you? You gotta cut. You gotta cut every stutter out just for them to understand you. I don't, I feel like that's fake to me, bro. If you gonna come on here and you got something serious to say, to tell them, be a hundred with them. That's how I feel. But let's go ahead, say a prayer, and get to this meal, man. I didn't eat all day, so I'm about to enjoy this and talk to you. Pray to God for infinite strength, infinite abundance, raw, real, authentic, grateful, life, hopefulness, everything. So. Enjoy this meal. Shot the mashed potatoes. I know the one that's potatoes. Mashed potatoes here. Mm. Try some of this broccoli. I don't know how. How can you really try broccoli? Broccoli is always gonna be broccoli. I just certain. I think. I guess certain people just like their broccoli different. You know what I'm saying? I mess with broccoli, bro. A lot of people don't like it. I mess with broccoli, y'all. You know what I'm saying? Even though the Asian chicken, my grandpa talked about, even though it's it's soggy, we still gonna try it. You know what I'm saying? I don't even know the place it's called. So for everybody out there that wanna try it, I'm out of luck. <laughs> I'm playing with y'all, man. Nah, for real though, bro. I still forgot to ask Grandpa what the spot was called. So, we real life out of luck. Hmm. 
They would text you and remind me. I told my grandpa this too. So I'm not double saying things to be tell people different things. I told my grandpa this too. They 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 text you and remind me of the crispy coop. Y'all remember when I had the crispy coop a while back? If you haven't seen that video, pop it up right here. Also, I'm gonna pop the place of this with this call right here. I'm asking my grandpa. He gonna let me know. The texture is similar, bro. This remind me a lot of the crispy cool, bro. I'm not gonna sit here and fake. I know how I get, man. I'm telling the truth. Keep it clear. This is leftover chicken. I don't know what it tastes like when it's fresh. Leftover. Remind me of crispy goop. One day, man. Eventually, I'm gonna have almost. I'm gonna try dang near every spot in Ohio. But we starting off small, though. Piece by piece. I'm gonna talk a little bit about my goals. I'm never really talk to my goals about anybody in particular. But I'm talking to my family no more game. You know the ones that is that is listening. Um the people for people to know it's not disclosed information that I'm not really supposed to say. It's just like something you could tell everybody, if that makes sense. Cause a lot of things I wanna keep that surprise for y'all. So number one, what I wanna tell y'all, my goal is one of my biggest goals is to try every culture of food that I'm, I'm able to try. Cause um, we never gonna try every culture of food to be real with you. But that we get able to get our hands on, we able to try, we able to, I definitely wanna try every culture of food, bro. That's, that'd be fire, fam. Like just think about that. Tell somebody like, bro, yeah, I tried almost every culture of food, fam. You're like, for real? Like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? That is fire. Number two, falling up with the food. Knocking out two birds, one stone. Travel the whole world. That's one thing I really want to do. If you know me, I ain't gonna lie. Y'all know a piece of me. Cause I really be putting my heart and soul into this, this YouTube stuff. I'm adventurous, bro. I like to go see things. I'm always on the go. If I, I'm gonna type. If I see it, and I want to do it, nine times out of ten, I'm gonna do it. Probably not at that moment. Might be low on funds or, you know, life kick you. But I'm going to get anything I want, any means possible. Basically, in other words, what I'm trying to tell y'all, anything you want to do, bro, even if it sounds crazy to everybody, do it, bro. No parents and you come from two different worlds. It's crazy, right? You come from two different worlds, but you're in the same household. That's it's it's crazy to you, right? But let me tell you why it's not crazy. They grew up in a whole different different generation. You growing up in a whole different generation. That's why y'all come from two different worlds. And parents, most parents, I'm not saying all parents don't. Most parents don't understand this internet stuff. That they chat would get paid millions of dollars just for filming a video. Like, that's insane. Like, or they could just get up to part to that money. You know what I'm saying? You pay a lot just to record. Not not since of recording, they could run a, a no face channel. It's beautiful, man. Be real with y'all, so many blessings, man. I see right in front of me right now that anybody, anybody can achieve. 
You willing, you have to be willing to be uncomfortable, man. Comfort. It's like top three of the worst things that would kill anybody's lifestyle. That would kill everything you got going for yourself, man. Because being comfortable is in a sense of saying, if it scares me, I don't want to do it. Let me put in an explanation for my guys and I tell my females, right? You're comfortable, right, my guy? And I'm going to put it in a way for a lot of people. Majority of people understand. I'm not saying other people won't, but I'm saying majority won't understand. My God. You're so used to messing with sixes and, and fives, right? I ain't going to say sevens. Sixes and fives. You're comfortable in that. You're, that's your comfort zone. Say an eight approach you. She want to see what you're about. If you're comfortable. You're so comfortable to the point. You're scared. Scared is not a bad thing. Scared is a good thing. Scared is like a sense of saying, hey, I'm uncomfortable. That's what scared. That's all scared is. Being scared is basically being uncomfortable. You know what I'm saying? When people say, oh, yeah, you scared. You scared. Take that as a compliment. Like, yeah, I'm scared. You know what I'm saying? Like, what's going on? You feel me? That's the sense of saying you're uncomfortable, bro. So in that sense, right? I put a sense for my females, all right? Say you're so used to, uh, we're going to do it. We're going to use the same concept because I don't, I don't care about your gender. I, I look at everybody the same. So we're going to use the same sense. Say when me, you're used to messing with, uh, we're going to do body type because that's what women basically go off of. They don't really care about face, to be honest with y'all. Um, we're going to do body types. Like say you, you, you used to messing with, uh, intermediate guys. Intermediate guys says, uh, skinny fat. You know what I'm saying? Husky. Perfect word, husky. You used to mess with husky guys. So say I approach you, right? Number one, you'll be scared. Number two, you want to know how to treat me. You want to know how to love me. Because you're so used to love in a different format compared to a guy that's fit stuff together and doing things in this life. And you will subconsciously feel insecure. It's a natural thing. So all these things is signs of uncomfortable. And what a lot of people do when they're uncomfortable, what you do when you're uncomfortable, you get out of the situation. Correct, right? Smack me if I'm wrong. A lot of you are not smacking me because it's, it's true. So, you get out of the uncomfortable situation, even you sabotage it. You know what I'm saying? However you sabotage it, you sabotage it. Basically, what I'm saying is, get used to being uncomfortable. Uncomfortable is like a addictive drug. You know what I'm saying? Once, once you, be, you be doing it way too long. Guys, if you're scared to talk to a prettier female, think you can't pull them, go talk to more women. Approach more guys. You don't have to ask them out on a date. You don't have to get his, his Instagram. Have a casual conversation with them. And everybody appreciate a conversation, bro. Mm. Take that format, bro. Apply it to life. I think our life would be beautiful, man. It's going to be hard as I'm not the one to front to you. But your life would be beautiful, nigga. I'm telling you, man. Embrace the uncomfortable, bro. There's nothing like it, bro. Nothing on this earth is like being uncomfortable. Could it force you to bring that inner beast out? You know what I'm saying? It forces you to bring that real identity out, who you really are. And you may that person to the surface and you looking at it eye to eye. You look at your higher self eye to eye. And saying, I'm coming for your spot next, bro. But you would never be in the spot your higher self because he's always climbing higher as you get higher. So say you right here up there. Say you right here at the ladder. Let me back up say see me. You right here at the ladder. Your higher self is just a little bit up there. Your higher self is meant for you 
to keep on getting better and better, but not for no money, not for anybody, for yourself. That's what a lot of people don't understand. That's why a lot of people fall off the game. They think the higher self is getting better for money, for fame, for clicks, for this and that. No, your higher self is here for you to get better for yourself, bro. So don't make that simple mistake that a lot of rookies make. Rookies to what, Omar? Rookies to self-care. This is a murder story. I like what I say this or not. You was born alone, you gonna die alone, bro. So get used to being uncomfortable. Omar out. About to get this some dessert. Cheesecake right here. We're gonna put this after we warm this up. Got some ice cream. Got some whipped cream, good cool whip, whatever. So let's go ahead and do it. Also, the camera ain't really supposed to be flipped this way. Make sure you wash them dishes though. Especially when you at a people's house. Don't leave no dishes, bro. Clean up after yourself. Especially if you grown, bro. If you you 16 and above, you're grown. Start cleaning up after yourself. No more passes. You 15, man, you learning a little something. So get right. <laughs> what I want to say before I cut it, you can wash all the dishes after or while you doing it. I just washed a couple. Only thing left is so literally just probably wash this spoon in the plate holder. That's it though. Just just clean up after yourself. That's the best life advice I can give you, bro. You got anybody's cribs. I don't care if you didn't do anything. The next day, take a shower. I'm giving you all the whole game. Run down right now. Take a shower. Clean up after yourself. Do not leave trash in folks' rooms or they living room. Kitchen. No matter where you at. You at anybody's house? If you're not really a clean freak, become a clean freak. That's basically what I'm telling you. Take a shower. You over there for a couple days? Take a shower at least once a day. If y'all go do some activities, come back, take a shower. Wash your face, brush your teeth, floss. Best advice I just gave y'all, free game. Much ice cream as possible. You know, this shit is frozen, frozen. So I got as much as I can. Put the whipped cream on top next. I can record this, it's not frozen. So when you open up whipped cream, scrape right off the top. Don't go for the side. Whoever go on the side, you weird. I'm not gonna lie to you. Scrape right off the top, bro. Like, make sure the whole top messed up before you touch any other side. Get you about, like, same thing like the ice cream. Get you about two, about two soups, two scoops. There you go. Two, three scoops. You know? So. There we go. And then you're like, oh, my, you be telling us the most random things. Bro, I'll be in my moments, bro. Another thing. If that person house you at, got a washer and dryer, wash and dry your clothes before you go home. That's the advice I can give anybody because a lot of people like to go home, it's their pride, but a lot of dirty clothes. Like, come on, what are you doing? Especially if you catch your lip back home, man. Nobody want to smell that, man. Wash and clean them clothes, G. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Being real with y'all. Y'all want me to lie to y'all? I'm not your friend. Sorry. But look, let me show y'all this real quick. Yeah, I make sure. Yeah, I can see it. I can see it on the screen. Show y'all that real quick. I put a little, because I put too much whipped cream on my apple pie. So I put a little bit on the cheesecake. The cheesecake got crumbly. That's why I didn't really show y'all it. So it was already messed up. I ain't gonna lie. But I'm just sorry. I'm about to try this apple pie, though. I had warmed it up a little bit. Honestly, didn't get that hot. So, let's try it. It's kind of spicy. The dessert spicy. Not like no hot chicken takeover spicy, bro. <laughs> this is the craziest pause screen ever, but y'all let me know in the comments, bro. Or by liking or subscribing right now. Do y'all want me to try hot chicken takeover? Let me know. Mm. Dessert spicy. It's kind of spicy, bro. I know y'all like, oh, my, why you leave the, why you... Why you in the uh, the clip off like that? Well, y'all ain't gonna see this to the end. Y'all ain't gonna see the clip I'm talking about to the end. Because, man, I ain't think I was gonna record again. <laughs> I'm gonna be a honey with you. Y'all want me to lie? 
I didn't think I was going to record again. So I ended up right there. You feel me? They're the most chewy, most chewiest apples I ever had in my life. Tough! L feeling. Ice cream covers. <sighs> bro, why is the ice cream that cold, bro? Like, damn. The ice cream is mad cold, bro. I ain't. The ice cream was dumb cold, G. Alright, start cheesecake, bro. I will probably take some like a four. No, I'm lying to you. But you know what? Y'all know what I told y'all a long time ago? I'm gonna still eat it. Because what? My grandma made it. Or bought it. I don't know. I think she made it. My grandma made it. Cheesecake. Is there a thing you can make regular cheesecake? Like no flavoring? Like it ain't gotta be no mint flavor. Y'all let me know that. Regular cheesecake. I mean, if you know what you're doing, you can't mess up no cheesecake. But if you're trying to make some mint flavor cheesecake, Oh, we're going to have to try that because I just want to see what it tastes like. Not too bad. I'm going to holler at you later. I'm going to have to watch some One Piece. Before I can kick it with Grandpa, I'll probably for like another hour and then I'm gonna get some rest. I'm gone.